a meeting that's potentially up with, with the library to okay. discuss those things. I don't mean it good. No, no, no. That, that's well, well. That may deserve a whole other work study session. It's <laughs> yeah. at least one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Maybe, <laughs> we'll, maybe we'll schedule that. Yeah, we should. I, I like that <laughs> philosophy <laughs> that, that because takes two or three. They're going to have their own. Sorry. Well, all, all the other cities incur the same kinds of costs. Yes. Yeah. And we pay ours right out of our straight order. We pay ours out, out, of, our, yeah. out yeah. of our account. Yeah. But if we yeah. build the county and they took it out of the, the funds that they're now keeping. The current the current year. Yeah. Yeah. Which they yeah. should yeah. do anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Same donor funds. They're just keeping yeah. them out of their business. Right. Exactly. Out of that. Treating us like a, everybody else. And, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. and another thing on there is, prop, is, is that re a reduction is like the master fee schedule, stop contracting consulting services that are one time so that next year we won't have. So um, that's where you see Master P schedules get charged here? Yes. Well, department it was put, it, it was put in here for the, the in the 12 13 budget. Um, what fee schedule? The master fee schedule, the cost allocation. That was in 2012. Consultant. 12 13. Consultant. 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 Yes. Consultant. The consulting um, portion is, um, is out of this budget. And next year we won't so have that. The department is responsible for it. It's, it's across all departments. Fees for everything. Okay. The next slide is that five-year outlook. And Robert, I just want to make sure that when this one was created for this, it included the two additional officer impact? Yes, it's in there. It's in there? Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's in the, it's in the, the 2014 budget is pulled in here, and then everything else out is projected out based off of um, uh, we, we, we did you know, certain rate rates, increases. A three-year property tax assumption, a two-year mm -hmm. expense assumption. So yes. there, could you just clarify uh, if the parcel tax revenue is, is or is not included in these numbers? It is at its current rate. Okay. Projected the rest of the way Correct. at yes. its current rate. Okay. George, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm a little bit of a problem with the idea of a 50% uh, bucket for all reserves. Mm -hmm. I, I just think that raises a big risk flag. It looks like you've got a lot of extra money there. That uh, why why have a parcel tax and why you know uh, when you break it down this way, at least suggests that there <laughs> some rational uses uh, reasons why why uh, we need to have additional reserves here for emergencies or whatever it might be. And that's certainly one way to look at it. When I look at it, I, I look at it like okay, we're no, trying to hide money. Your standpoint, but I'm, I'm thinking. Of, but there are other stakeholders here that uh, yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's a very interesting perspective. And, but maybe we then create at least a 50% total yeah, reserve could, category, yeah, but could, still, still keep the individual pockets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You say 15 or 50? Like 50. 50. More. 50. Like yeah. Where do you get 50? I got 15. Well, we don't have it right now. <laughs> we, we don't We're have it now. My, one of my suggestions at the mid year uh, report to the council was. Because we're, we are seeing a, an increase in our unrestricted balance as it goes across, that we consider increasing the amount that we put toward reserves from our current 35%, increase that to 50%. And whether we just increase those two categories or create a third category uh, for capital projects reserve or whatever we want to call it, uh, that we do that. Uh, but the more we divide it up, mm -hmm. and from my perspective anyway, looking at it from a management side, it looks like we're just trying to mm -hmm. pigeonhole money in different buckets and hide them. Um, if it was a general fund operational reserve for any and all purposes, it's not restricted. And if we run into something where you know, we, we don't have an emergency, but we need to fund something more than our 20%, we can't touch yeah. the emergency we reserve. We went through that rationale yeah. a couple city managers ago, and, yeah. and I we think we, we felt we a couple of buckets we get down. And, uh, so, some smaller buckets. Yeah. Why would we not want to incre increase our OP, OPEB reserves? That was the other alternative, is to increase our contribution to our annual ARC for the OPEB benefits mm -hmm. as well. I think we need to look at that whole funding mm -hmm. of our long term liabilities as, as part of this whole process. Okay. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. But, but even though our unrestricted fund balance continues to increase, um, well, Again, this does include the parcel tax uh, revenue of 60% uh, at its current rate right. projected going forward. And if we didn't have that, if in 2015, actually, yeah, yeah, 20, 
2015, 2014, 2015, it would be, if parcel tax wasn't renewed, it, uh, it goes away June 30th, 2014. And so if we deducted the 1.1 million. That's one of the scenarios that needs to be laid out. That yeah. We can, because yeah, okay. we yeah. will have a structural deficit. Yeah. Even though our unrestricted fund balance right. is going up. Yeah. Okay. That's one of the scenarios. If we don't do it, if, if we let it die or it dies, <laughs> right. yeah. uh, this is what the five year plan will look like. Right. Yeah. And, that, that's and if you want to increase it, it'll look like, like this. Right. You know, or, Right. So we, those are easily yeah. done. This is just a, a what kind of inflation shape. factor do you have? Uh, inflation for expenses is two percent, Robert. Yes, two percent. Um, uh, taxes is three percent. Property tax revenue increase is three percent on our property tax mm -hmm. revenue. Just the property tax, and then everything else is two percent. Um, and then the expenditures. Would you two percent? Would you got? Are you factoring in the pensions and the health care separately? Above the uh, our costs are capped for health care. Mm -hmm. Or they can miscellaneous. Yeah. Active local miscellaneous employees are capped, yes. Right. So we can actually budget that going forward. But well, the pensions, is that that's the percent or is it? The, the pensions are, are in there for 14 and 15 because that's what we currently have through CalPERS. Um, they give you only two years out based off of... Um, so you know what that is. So we know what that is. Everything else from that on out is 2%. The thing we haven't done yet, though, Greg, we've talked about uh, with, with staff is coming up with their set of assumptions that, uh, in, in terms of the growth of, uh, of, of, of uh, the long-term liability expenses mm -hmm. so that we can see a worse, worst case, <laughs> which we really haven't seen yet. Mm -hmm. well, I hope you were, your 2% is realistic. It's, well, it's the CalPERS rate this last year went up by about like one point six percent. Went from for, for PD twenty six point four percent to twenty seven point eight percent. The miscellaneous is the kind of like the wild card right now. It's it's at thirteen point six and it's going to go to fifteen point eight. But when we pay the side fund, it's going to go to eleven point one percent. But the two percent assumption on everything else. Mm -hmm. I question because I. You think inflation's going to skyrocket? Well, I think it's going to take off. But I mean, even now, if you calculate it properly, yeah. it's a lot more than 2%. Yeah. So Especially I don't think you should do scenarios of 2, 3, and 4 just to see what the effect is. Mm -hmm. You got it in a model? Yeah, that's yeah. just a spreadsheet. It's all it is. Yeah. You can certainly change those assumptions. Just give us a, a committee yeah. uh, three scenarios, 2, 3, and 4, just to see what the effect is. Because mm -hmm. it may not be that. Can do, and then to, to kind of piggyback back on the parcel tax, it's it's equivalent of nine percent of our general fund revenues right now. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. So mm -hmm. without it, take out nine percent. But we, you know, we can we'll do some scenarios with without it. Um, I think there's another scenario. Maybe it, it can go up. Or, you know, mm -hmm. So, so a hundred dollar increase would be how much in total in parcel tax dollars? Um, I think it's at seven hundred and fifty per. So be eight fifty. Well, no, that's, that's no. It. We 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 get one point eight million. Yeah. Right. Okay, a hundred dollar increase on twenty five hundred parcels. But they're not all. So they're not all. Parcels. So you yeah. can't kind of. No, that's do it that's like why that. I was asking. Yeah. Yeah. I thought that's fine. We just want to make it a brain teaser. <laughs> No. Our brain a little bit. Yeah, they they um they 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 um break dif they're different. You need um, to work that out. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We'll get yeah. that. Uh, why is the parcel tax different from let's say a smaller parcel or a bigger parcel? Fairness. Same services. Well, oh, wow. Well, I know a citizen that would agree with you. Right? Well, she got four acres, so I wish. Well, if you have a larger parcel, theoretically, you can build more on your parcel. You can subdivide it. You can subdivide it. But we're not charging, I mean, I think that you almost, as if you're going to charge for phone lines, how many phone lines are in house? But, yeah, I mean, services are services. It was a compromise. What? <laughs> <laughs> All decisions. <laughs> a lot of pragmatic. <laughs> Clubs and the private schools, yeah. you know, that's a flat rate, and it's been that rate a long, long time. Do they pay parcel tax? Private schools? They do, private clubs and the private schools. 
Yeah. No, that, that question has been raised yeah. in the past, and that, that, that's sort of you know, one side of the coin that, that uh, mm -hmm. maybe it's something to look at. Yeah. Well, if you look at it conceptually, there's two major things that are fed by the, the tax police and roads. Right. Roads, the frontage of roads on a larger parcel, theoretically, would be somewhat more expensive, and therefore you would be a, a more of a correlation. But the police department, I mean, you know, a burglar on a piece of property is a burglar on a piece of property. It might be harder on a big piece of property, but there's no real point. Yeah, more space to hide. Yeah. Well, are we going to do a separate exercise on the cat search? Yeah. yeah, we're going to have at least two more budget workshops between now and the budget adoption. One of them is capital. Capital will be part of one of those, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I still never have figured out what our priority, how our priority system works. Well, that's a goal setting. Right. I mean, we'll, part of the goal that's setting. What, that's one of the exercises we did last year uh, from council's perspective about you know, uh, what our priorities are for yeah. our capital projects. What do we want to spend our we money have, We have limited staff, limited money. We can't do everything in right. two, three years. But it brings up, a, brings up a point, though, Greg might want to think about is that we, the council does have a goal setting um, date. And maybe before that date, the finance committee might want to provide some thoughts or mm -hmm. input. Or well, is there a is there a measurement on the road conditions? Yes. 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 Whole payment yes. index yes. system. Is it reliable? Oh yes. Yeah. It's yeah. used yeah. throughout the state and yeah. nation, don't they? Right. It's done by a private outside. Uh -huh. The MTC does it. And you can see how we compare with other cities in the area too. And yeah, we're we'll we'll ten years ago where we are today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Best anywhere. Yeah. So, um, so you have old staff here. This was a, intended as kind of a, the initial uh, intro into the 2014 budget. Is there any questions you want to have besides you know getting into the fine detail of the budget, which we'll do later? Broad brush questions about any staff members council, here. Does any council member have any more questions for staff? Well, I, you know, we it's certainly a first pass. So mm -hmm. I'd really like to look at the long term uh, goals of mm -hmm. the department. And uh, we need to talk about priorities. Yes. And, and impact mm -hmm. was done here. Good. But the parcel taxes only affect 60% of the parcel tax on these numbers. 60% of the parcel tax goes to public yeah. safety. Yeah. yeah. And the other 40% is in. What's the deadline for getting things on the measure for November? June. So the decision will be made by the uh, June, June council. council meeting. Then. So. We don't have a lot of time. No, no I, I'm, I'm presuming. Why would you go in a year early? Is that all this way? Because you get it on the ballot in November for the certainty. implementation. Give you certainty. Next year, the following year's budget. Yeah. Oh, so in November, there's only seven months before it goes into effect. And well, it expires. But there are elections. There are you know, county elections. There are elections in November in this off year. And so you can piggyback on that. There have been times that the town has um, missed that November election or that the uh, parcel tax ballot failed. And so then they had to go out in the spring in a special election process that then um, you know cost the town more money because it was a special election. So to the extent that we can do it in November in an election cycle, uh, it's going to cost us less. And if we actually plan ahead, we can actually get two strikes out. Right, of course. One unknown is what the state legislature is going to do about parcel tax votes. Right. That's right. 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 And the, the, and the how they're going to tax it. Well, yeah, okay. we're talking about uh, lowering the threshold two thirds to 55 percent on, on different categories. Uh, focusing on transportation, now they're talking about also police services and other things you can get into the hopper before they get through talking about it, I'm sure. Now what is this thing about the municipal uh, different kinds of cities? Is that a factor? The charter city versus yeah, the charter the city. What is all that about? Here's the man that commands the city. Well, we're, 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 we're just saying, no, I, this is not, we're not going to discuss right. that right now. That will be discussed at our upcoming um, uh, meeting in April. Um, right. Yeah, that's on the April seventeenth agenda as part of the right. manager's report. Got the city attorney memo in there. So it's just on the manager. It's in the packet if you. Yeah. yeah. So read the for one two page. Yeah. Read the package yeah. synopsis. Yeah. It's really easy. Yeah. He wanted the I did. Yeah. Okay. So um, we 
thank you very much. Um, I thought the PowerPoint was nice, very uh, clear, a um, lot of detail, but again, this is our first pass. First pass, we're all upside down. Overview. Yep. And um, if there's any, no more questions or comments, I'd like to call for a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay, so moved.